he showed me naked pictures of Ashley like this. Oh, really? He come back in and he took me all the way to Orion's belt. I saw the moon and the stars and the sun. I couldn't you know tell every, your brother You know my brother. There. No, my I'm not gonna fix this so because I know how you react. Me. Right after I signed the birth certificates, he told me that it might be another guy. So, Ms. Wallace, your mouth has run a marathon today. I'm oh, dude. Oh, Ron, get her. If he really feels Good like girl, you be quiet. I do. Be quiet. Saddest paternity court, you are not the father moments. Throughout paternity court's extensive run, we have seen many men get their hearts broken after they realize the child they nurtured and loved isn't theirs. You and Mr. Kaiser have been together for six years, have a three-year-old son together, but claim he's now denying your six-month-old son Isaac and you're here to prove that he is the father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Kaiser, you acknowledge one child with Miss England, but say Isaac is not yours. Torrid Kaiser and Shirley England had a two-year-old kid together. However, they soon split up and Shirley moved in with another man and soon enough got pregnant. We were in a relationship for four and a half years okay. before we finally split and I went with the other man. Okay. And so during that time you what? had one child. Yes. Right. What? Yes. And then during the split, during the split, Isaac was conceived. When the couple got back together, Miss England was pregnant and Mr. Kaiser immediately doubted that baby Isaac was his. Mr. Kaiser then caught Miss England cheating red-handed. Take a look. This might be the baby of the man who she actually cheated on me with. So how am I gonna I raise this child? Cheated. I never cheated. I did not get. But you had his I phone number get, before you moved number. out. But I did not. That's because she cheated. Kind of Despite Miss England cheating, Mr. Kaiser still wanted to be the father of baby Isaac. Mr. Kaiser was ready to nurture this baby. But finally, the results came in. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Kaiser, you are not the father. Are you sure? I'm sorry, Mr. Kaiser. Are you sure? Are, are you I'm sure? I'm so sorry. <laughs> This absolutely crushed poor Mr. Kaiser, and he was even hoping that the DNA results were false or a mistake. His love for Isaac was true, and this was heartbreaking to watch. But I'm not ready to let go of the relationship, Your Honor. I love this man. This is the longest relationship I've ever been in. And that's for you two to figure out if you can work it out. Julio Gonzalez and Ashley Salvo were in a relationship together. However, they were questioning whether their one-year-old daughter, Amaya, was Mr. Gonzalez's. The backstory behind this case is absolutely absurd. Just take a look. You argue that Ms. Salvo had sex with multiple men, including your best friend, and any one of them could be her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Salvo was extremely unfaithful and engaged in many intimate relationships with other men. To make matters worse, she had another boyfriend the entire time who knew she was being unfaithful. The reason we stopped with contact because, I mean, he did help me financially when I was pregnant because at first I thought that she was his. But when I had her, it's... When I looked at her, I just knew it wasn't his. My current, my ex-boyfriend, he, he was black. She doesn't look like that. She looks Hispanic to the fullest. This case was absolutely tragic for the daughter of Maya. As Ms. Salvo remarks on the instances she struggled to support for her and how she received zero help. I struggle enough as it is even trying to get her diapers without Well, speaking of your fiance, I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. Step up to the podium. Your name, please. Teresa Millender. Ms. Millender, thank you for joining us. Ms. Salvo says you've been there to help her with the child. I've been there since day one, since a mic came out. Really? Oh, yeah. So, was Mr. Gonzalez there? Not there? No. Regardless, the DNA tests were in, and it was time to determine whether Mr. Gonzalez is the father or not. The result will absolutely shock you. Uh, you? are not the father. 
excuse me, Your Honor. Can I still come around and see Amaya and help her out if I can? Because for a year and four or five months, she's been my daughter and she's still going to be my daughter. Mr. Gonzalez was heartbroken upon hearing this tragic news. And despite this news, Mr. Gonzalez still wanted to be present in Amaya's life and provide for her. Mr. Gonzalez reveals that he never met his real father and understands the pain Amaya will feel in the future. Ms. Millinder is there for you and Amaya. He's asking if he could possibly remain in her life. Please. Yeah. Now this court has resources for you that can help you. Ms. Wallace and Mr. Wallace were in a marriage previously. Ms. Wallace then had a two-year-old baby named Yorelli. Ms. Wallace then claimed that Mr. Wallace was not a present father. You say he is too busy playing daddy to his new family and has neglected your daughter for far too long, and that ends today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wallace had serious doubt that this two-year-old was his and has since moved on and married another woman. However, Miss Wallace was soon questioned. Did you or did you not have sex with somebody else while your husband had kind of moved on? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Did you have unprotected sex with someone? Yes. The daughter Yorelli was upset and was actually crying, watching her family fall apart. Most importantly, the moment of truth was here and it was time to find out if Mr. Wallace is the father. You are not the father. You all right? It's okay. Mr. Wallace? Mr. Wallace was extremely upset since he was 100% convinced that he was the father. Mr. Wallace spent over two years nurturing and raising Yoreli and had true love for her. This was heartbreaking to watch and Judge Lake rightfully went off on Miss Wallace. So Miss Wallace, your mouth has run a marathon today. I'm serious. And I kept listening and I kept trying to understand where you were at and why would you do this and you had a reason for everything and you were adamant. Juliana Lockridge and Wallace Tidwell were in a relationship with each other. Juliana had a 10-month baby boy named King and claims that Tidwell refuses to acknowledge him as his son. Does not have a relationship with my son. The only time he's actually seen my son is when I've made it a convenience for him and brought him to him. That means traveling four hours on bus, driving two hours on the car. Tidwell did this because he found out that Miss Lockridge was cheating on him and slept with multiple other men. How would you react if this happened to you? She has another guy that she was sleeping with. During the time that you were having sex with Ms. Lockridge, mm -hmm. were you aware of anyone else she was involved with sexually? Not personally, but um, we weren't- There was nobody else. This case was getting way too chaotic, and at one point, Mr. Tidwell threatened to keep King for himself. But now, it was time for the truth. You are not his father. Are you kidding me? I messed up, man. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. From the bottom of my broken heart, Wallace Tidwell, I'm sorry. And to your whole family, I apologize. I have no idea who his dad is at this point. Mr. Tidwell was not the father and was left devastated. All he could do was cry in silence, accepting the harsh truth. Miss Lockridge then had a full on meltdown. Just sit down, honey. It's okay. It's okay.